so we're gonna need a bigger brooder. We're on our way to Lowe's right now to go pick up some stuff for it. Our babies have, well we actually put our babies in a little playpen that we made for them and it's been our makeshift brooder while we put them outside and... They're starting to outgrow it. Yeah. We're gonna go get the supplies right now. It's our handy little sketch baby drew up. <laughs> and the, the plan is that we're gonna build it all in a day. And it's only gonna take us a day, he says. But we're not gonna build today. I just wanna buy yeah. supplies. I'll probably get on it tomorrow or the next day. Now, pro tip, I don't know if you guys know, but you can actually get your, your wood cut at Lowe's for free. I think Home Depot charges a few cents per cut, but Lowe's, you can tell them to cut your wood for you. So uh, when we get home, I won't have to do any cuts on the blade. I could just get home and screw all the studs together for our brooder. It's also easier to fit in the car. I also got me pumpkin gonna do a chicken themed jack-o-lantern for you all. It's time to let the babies out. Oh, they're already starting to talk and tell us. Good morning little ones. Oh, is everybody boosted? Sometimes they choose the roost bar and sometimes they just all lay on the floor still like little chicks. It's about 7 a.m. right now, 7.30 maybe. We just got our setup going, so uh, we're gonna get started. Yeah, let all the babies out, drink some coffee. It's time to go. Don't forget to sip your coffee. The beauty about this is that I didn't have to cut any of this wood at all, at all. So I'm just gonna get straight to work. The guys that loves cut it for me. So just lay it out, drill and screw. So. We're gonna make our first pre-drilled hole right here. Just like that. And a second one. Like that. Thank you. Essentially what we're doing is we're gonna build four stud walls. We're gonna put some hardware cloth on the walls to keep the predators out and uh, and a roof, that's about yeah. it. We're probably gonna cover it with some shade cloth. Keep the babies in too. Keep the babies <laughs> in, predators <laughs> out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, we'll go to the other side, yeah. You wanna bring some spread over here? Hold this down, firm. What's pretty nice too is that we got this big working station here. We're using her father's workshop, so uh, yeah, it's pretty convenient. If 
you don't have a table like this, just go ahead and use your floor. Shoots a flat surface. It's starting to get pretty warm. Oh. We've decided that the doors are going to be two feet wide. So we're going to go ahead and measure here 24 inches. That's pretty good right there. Pre-drill some holes. And then we screw on these stud walls right here. I'm a little bit slower when I don't have my assistant Kelly. Every inch screws, but I'm just using whatever I got handy. Didn't buy any of those. They're, yep, they're leftover screws from when we built the chicken coop. Another reason why I didn't want to cut any of this wood myself is because I just hurt my thumb the other day. I was making the little chicks a little, what is it? What are we making again? I was making a, yeah, there you go. I was making a little roost bar for the baby chicks. And then I was cutting without my safety goggles. So I was closing my eyes, using the blade and everything, and all of a sudden, a piece of wood just exploded on my hand or something and pushed my thumb backwards. And I thought I broke it, but it looks okay. It just hurts. So that's another what, another reason why I was like, you know what? I'll just have the guys cut it, everything at the store, and I'll just come home and drill everything. Because uh, right now, I don't feel like squeezing the wood and making all these cuts. The guy did, I don't know. 10, 15, 20 cuts at the store, but it's all free. So it's just a service that they do there. Same thing on this side, we're gonna measure out 24 inches. We have to jump. Nice. As you can see, we've already decorated the workshop for Halloween. Yeah, we've got all the fake cobwebs. <laughs> Just three more of those. I thought it was the floor. I've just been informed it's a wall. <laughs> yeah, it's just a chicken run, so we're not building a coop this time like we did. Last time we started with the foundation floor. We'll have to do that this time. In fact, this isn't really how you do a chicken run, but it's how, how we make one. That's one wall that I have right here. We're gonna have one door here for the Bantam breeds, another door here for the other regular size ones, and uh, it's gonna end up being four foot by eight feet wide, what, like long, I mean. And it's gonna be three foot tall. So uh, really big. they'll have some, some space to run around there until they outgrow that, and then we'll be able to integrate them with our regular flock in, in our big yard out there and the back over here as well. That's one while we're gonna work on our second one now. Same idea, except that the other one's just gonna have one stud in the middle just for support. So we'll need three of these this time. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna do wall number two. This will be a parallel wall. And then we'll gotta do the ends that are gonna be smaller than this, but we're doing our bigger ones first. Okay, same idea here. We're gonna pre-drill some holes. Let's screw the studs. All right, I'm gonna do the stud over here on this side. You got it? Yeah. Please. 
Thank you. cloth is taller than this. Or the hardware cloth roll. <laughs> oh, the way. I think I used the wrong one. Are we supposed to do it little way? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just thinking this looks really big. Yeah, we ended up using the four foot What's the four foot Like the top or the width? Why did I separate them then <laughs> if you still got confused? You got me the wrong ones. <gasps> what? Oh man. So we made a mistake <laughs> here. Why am I always the one that like tells you about your so mistakes? We ended up grabbing the four foot wide one instead of the three foot tall studs. So we're gonna undo these two at the ends and do it with the three foot ones. We got a three foot wide hardware <clears throat> cloth roll, so it would just fit perfect and be, <clears throat> and now it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Let me just make sure this is the right one. Yep. At least you didn't do that one, huh? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that one Okay. Stud wall number two is done. Okay, so now it should be three foot tall. All right, so we have our side walls ready, and now we're gonna do our ends. Well, it's gonna be a little short. It's gonna be four foot wide, three foot tall. This should be pretty easy. Square. Square. It took to be a square. It sounds like when you say pinky square. <laughs> okay, man, hold up. I meant to do that. I think that's it. One more left. So as it turns out is that I am gonna do have to do some cuts because uh, these instead of them being three foot long, they're actually four foot. Uh, I don't know, if maybe I told the guy to give me the wrong number of cuts or maybe he just messed up but we're just gonna cut two beams it shouldn't be too bad there we go and then while we're here I'm gonna cut these guys here for some support on the long stud wall since we only have one stud in the middle. I'm gonna cut these at 45 degree angle and put them at the ends. Fourth stud wall here to make, to build. And we're almost done. Maybe. Just gonna have to line the walls with hardware cloth. Somehow built some doors. I don't even know if I have the materials for that yet or not, but we're just gonna figure it out as we go.
It's gonna have to be temporarily removed for now. And we're gonna rip out the sunflowers right here. Because, well, they're just about done. They look pretty ugly. And this is where our chicken run slash brooder is gonna go for the baby chicks right here against the wall. Okay, hey, some of those might have seeds. I saw some of them were almost turned to seed all the way. Well, we'll save them right there to the side. Yeah. Timber. Well, that timber's not gonna fall. <laughs> here, I'm just gonna lay them to the side over here. Aye. There you go, you guys can destroy that one. Have fun. A sacrifice to the tiny raptor gods that bless us with breakfast. Ethel's scratching it. <laughs> Now we got a hardware cloth around all four stud walls. Now we're just gonna go ahead and assemble them, put them together. And then I'm gonna have to put a couple studs on the roof and then predator proof that as well and build our couple doors. We're gonna put a door there. It's almost coming. And the other one there. It's coming along. <laughs> and Lucy may have laid an egg. <laughs> So that's that, now we just gotta do some studs on the roof and a couple doors. It took us all morning and afternoon, but we're just gonna get some shade cloth on here and let the babies in here and then we'll tarp it up too. But all the sweat again. It happened to be the hottest day. It's been in a while, oh my gosh, or I don't know if it's just all the hard work that makes it so hot, but hey, it was a labor of love. Look, we've got the poultry netting on the top, got the hardware cloth, double doors. We think we're gonna section off half of it to um let the bantams also be in here and then eventually we can open it up so they'll all be in there together but they'll have a little bit of an upgrade for now Whew. i'm like out of breath from <laughs> all the freaking staple gunning the staple gun the wire cutters i got blisters but look our babies can have a new home all the labor is worth it my hands are red <laughs> Babies get another upgrade. There you go. There's lots of good dirt to dust bathe in. It's all loose. We dug up all the sunflowers and it's some nice dirt. Yep, virgin dirt. There you go, Joe. My favorite little fuzzy ones. My little lap babies. Lizzie's the sweetest. Little babies. There you go, Casper. There you go. And I got a new feeder. Checking it out.
think he might be a rube. Look at this little dude. He likes beard scratches. Well, I think he's a dude. Mr. Coco? You? Are you a Polish rube? To be determined. New roost bar. Susan's already checking it out, playing on it. So what we did to protect from predators is I raked some dirt away and then we added just some spare fencing we had laying around. We didn't buy anything. It's called a predator apron, a little skirt. We staple gunned the edge to the top. I got some landscape pins and hammered it down and then we'll go ahead and like push the dirt back on top so you don't have to see it like an eyesore. And yeah, no predator can just dig in there and make a snack of our babies that we love. <laughs>